to send this to Alice, but I don't want anybody else to get it, and all I've got is one lock. I've got an idea. I'll open that up. I'm going to put it in this box, and I'm going to put this on. I've got the only key. I'm going to put that in the post service. The problem is, you see, somebody has been reading our mail, and we want to know that the communications we send are secure. We don't want anyone to get information whilst the message is in transit. This nefarious character is reading the mail, but when he gets to the box which is secured using the key, he has no chance. Ah, this is a package from my good friend Bob. I know what to do here. It's got his lock on it, so what I'll do is I'll put my lock on it. I've got the only key. And I can send it back to him. It's got Alice's lock on as well as mine. I'm going to take my lock off. It's only got Alice's lock on now. I'll put it back in the post. Okay, so Bob sent me this package and now it's only got my padlock on and I've got a key. So I can just open it and get hold of the valuable item that's inside the box. But what if I, Alice, wanted to exchange more than one thing? As I'm sure you'll agree, it was a bit of a palaver going backwards and forwards with the box and the locks and so on. So one of the things we can do is to use this channel to send another secure channel. And what we're doing is we're setting up a communications channel that's easier to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a padlock and a key in the box. Then I'm going to put my padlock on it and I'm going to keep hold of my key and the other key and these are completely secret. And then I can send that to Bob. Another the parcels arrived, I'll put my lock on and I'll pop it back in the post. I've got my parcel back got two locks on. I can take my lock off and send it back to Bob. It's only got his padlock on it now. I'm going to take off my private lock. I'm going to open the box but this time what I've received is another box. What I've received is another padlock and I've got a key for it and what I'm reckoning is that Alice has kept the other key. So I'm going to now keep this key and I'm going to use this padlock to seal the box. I can lock it, I can open it, I'll put that back in the post and Alice has kept a key for that one. Finally, Alice and Bob have established a secure communications channel. Both of us have got a key to the lock and we can put messages in and send them backwards and forwards as much as you like. It might look like a bit of a palaver but that's actually what's going on every time you click on an SSH link.